welcome, 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 family. Welcome back to Let's Speak It Out Loud. I'm so glad that you guys are here with me today. I am your host, Goddess Candace the Alicorn, and it is my pleasure once again to be here with you all. I hope everybody's doing well today. I hope that you've had a good day. If not, I hope that I say something that can touch your spirit or touch your soul or uplift your vibrations to help you look at things in a whole different manner to help you feel better and greater than you're feeling right now. So what's up, family? What's up, family? If this is your first time here, I appreciate you being here. Hit that follow button, hit that like button, and go ahead and share. Let's speak it out loud with as many copper-colored indigenous people, quote-unquote, known as black people in America and across the world that you can pass this podcast on to, okay? All right, y'all. So I just want to start off by saying once again, thank you, thank you, thank you to every single person who has donated to this podcast. Ah, I appreciate you all. Um, If you would like to donate to the podcast, the information will be listed down at the bottom. You can either PayPal me or Cash App. Just put donation in the subject line, all right? So, what's up, family? What's been going on? I know I hadn't talked to y'all in a few days since uh, I posted up, um, you know, the smack her around the world, you know, we've all been through that and heard all that and everybody's giving their opinion. So, you know, I thought I would just come on today and do a temperature check. See how my people doing? How y'all feeling? You loving yourself today? You feeling okay today? What's going on with you? What's going on with you? And I want to thank all the people across the world who are listening to this podcast. Guys, we got people in Norway listening. We got people in Germany listening. Yes, I know some of y'all hate to hear this, but we got people in Russia listening. We got people all over the United States of America listening. I got people in Thailand listening. So I am so honored, so very honored that people across the world, Canada, oh man, quite a few places. I'm quite shocked at Norway. Norway, what's up? If y'all listening again today, I appreciate you downloading, just listening to the podcast. And I hope I say something to help you Norwegians feel better about your day. All right. So, guys, I just wanted to come on today and just talk a little bit about some things. Like I say, I know a lot of stuff has been going on in the world. um, And a lot of things have been driving us crazy. We're trying to get back on track from, you know, this pandemic that we had going on here. And everybody's trying to get back together. You know, and and get back into your zone because we were disrupted for two and a half years. And I know it can be a little bit difficult, you know, with all the mind altering things and the fear mongering and things that are going on. But I wanted to talk today, guys, about shifting our momentum and shifting our dimensions. You know, right now, most of us are in a 3D dimension, but we're actually moving towards, um, a 5D dimension, 3D, 5D, third dimension, fifth dimension. Um, a lot of people make references to those shifts of shifting from 3D to 5D. But do you know what it really feels like and how it's going to impact change in your life to switch from 3D to 5D? You know, that D, like I said, it refers to your spiritual dimensions which mirror our spiritual growth, you know, as we experience it in our human beingness. You know, globally, humans have been in a 3D level of consciousness. You know, 3D level represents more so a lot of human things that represent about feelings of fear, limitations, you know, lack of interconnectedness, suffering, working hard to succeed and being locked in time and in place. You know, if you feel yourself being drawn into fear due to conspiracy theories that we've been going through the past couple of years, feelings of being out of control, you know, during this pandemic, you know, and what fear of what's going to happen, then you're more likely still experiencing that 3D mode and living in that 3D consciousness. You know, the difference between 3D and 5D, 5D state, it feels more effortless. 
you know, it feels very, very effortless. Um, in 5D, you know, as a human being, you'll begin to experience oneness, radical forgiveness. Um, you'll experience unconditional love. You know, manifestations will begin to move at a faster, faster speed. And the feelings of being supported by energy as our dreams and purposes begin to unfold in our life. You know, in order for this to happen, for us to feel that 5D, we first have to surrender that old story that we've been told. And at the very least, open up to there being another way of doing things besides the way we've been told about things. You know, it's a lot of resistance that's been created in uh, hanging on to that old narrative of struggle, that old narrative of fight. And the pain keeps humans rooted in that 3D energy. You know, some of the population, they, they're going to choose not to move up to 5D. Their souls, they just choose to how to experience life, you know, for some of the souls. The greater learning for them is, is the, it's in the denser energy. So the people who will choose to stay in 3D, they may learn a lot more in 3D because they got a lot of catching up to do versus being ready to move up to 5D. You know, during the ascension process, you'll experience a lot of symptoms when when you're going through the ascension process of 3D to 5D. Some of y'all may have experienced this, you know, like ringing in the ears, you know, as we begin to learn to attune into new frequencies. And, you know, your spirit guides and your ancestors and your angelic beings and, 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 and your guardian angels are around you protecting you and they're, and they're communicating with you on different frequencies, you know. If you got a bad habit of waking up between 2 and 4 a.m., <clears throat> you could be in the middle of ascension because, you know, right then and there, that's, that's kind of like a, a little line, a little veil between the spiritual and the physical where they become thinner. Those worlds begin to mesh a little together, together a little bit more. Or you're having real vivid dreams, particularly about people dying and having babies and loved ones on the other side. You know, you get a lot of fatigue that you're beginning to go through as you level up. You know, sometimes you feel that fatigue in the human body and your cells, you start to get headaches. You know, women, your monthly cycles begin to change, become more irregular. Um than normal as your bodies fall into a new rhythm. You know, you might experience dehydration due to the energy and the physical body working harder than normal. You might experience a little dizziness or maybe shape-shifting, um, vanishing objects in your eyes and flickering in your eyes while you adjust to a new vibration of clairvoyance. Your teeth, you know, your teeth begin to ache. And that's linked to speaking the truth as we find that we can't help ourselves with voicing the truth according to our new being. You know, you start to have them be like, why are my teeth hurting? Because as you begin to speak truth and speaking it out loud, as your new vibrations kick in and your new, vi your new being begins to manifest within you, you can't help it but to speak truth. You can't help ourselves with voice and truth. You get tingling in the body, similar to like electrical charges when your cells are upgrading. It's a swing in your appetite. You know, when you're leveling up can make you hungry. Feeling cold and shivery as we try to regulate our temperature. Mm. You know, there's a lot of things when you're leveling up, when you're going through this transition from 3D to 5D that you definitely should be aware of, like emotional stability, you know, old memories, behaviors, and, and cycles ending, you know, fear, anger, and sadness, you know, as a reflection of your emotional instability. It'll be felt before the turning point because you got to let go. Feeling homesick for a place you don't even know or even lack of belonging in the current family 
or your social dynamics. You feel completely different from everybody in your family. I know I do. I feel completely different because I know I'm different. I know I'm unique. I bask in my uniqueness. I've been knowing that I was unique and different since the day that I had consciousness on this planet, that I knew I was here, you know? There's a lot of ways you can handle, like, what they call ascension symptoms. You can meditate. You know, slow down that mind and breathe and and turn inward, you know, to allow that body to absorb space and absorb its new calibration. You know, don't fight the symptoms. Just begin with slowing down. You know, slowing down to a pace at which you consume information. How much you physically and can mentally do. Go out and spend time in nature. And as you're going through this ascension, you'll find that nature is pulling you. You know, go spend time in nature. That electromagnetic charges from the earth, you know, that they balance those charges within us. Do some exercises. Do some walking. You know, when you go spend that time in nature, take your shoes off and put your feet in the grass so you can reground yourself to Mother Earth. Because after all, she is a feminine energy. Because she gives us life. You know, listen to your body. Slow down when you're starting to feel overwhelmed. And align yourself with the things that feel true to you, inside you. And stay away from the media or the news that creates feelings of fear in you. Okay? And also, you got to change what you're eating. Your body will begin to change. If you're a heavy, heavy, heavy meat eater, as you transition into 5D, your body's going to tell you what it wants. You know, and you're going to have to eat what your body is intuitively telling you that it wants. Or it's going (laughs) to backfire on you. And we know whenever we got a stomach ache or don't feel good or our body is like, I ain't want that, that is not a good feeling. You know? As you transition to that 5D, that ascension, it always comes with increased intuition or awakenings. You know? It teaches you how to remember your soul's path, your soul's wishes and your journeys as thoughts and visions and feelings become clearer. You know, sometimes you'll hear spontaneous messages and downloads when you least expect it. This is the veil of your third eye lifting. That's another thing. You know, starting to work on your chakras. And we'll get more so into chakras as time goes on. You know, but I just wanted to talk to you guys. I'm over here dropping stuff. As things are changing, because I'm noticing things are changing, because I'm noticing for me, you know, that 5D spiritual realm, you're going to love yourself. You're going to learn more about your spiritual side, and you're going to speak it to get it. What you speak is what you get, whether it's positive or negative. So when you speak those negative things to yourself and you're wondering why stuff happens, the universe doesn't know right or wrong. The universe just knows what it is. So when you speak negativity over your life, the universe says, okay, that's what you want. And when you speak that positivity over your life with no doubt, because we always checking back in, you know how you keep going to the microwave looking to see if it's beeped yet? Or you stand there waiting for the water to get hot, watching it, it ain't going to get hot no faster. It's not going to get done any faster in the microwave you standing there looking at. You know? You have to understand that you're not one to be played with when you're guided by the divine. And I am that one. You know, I don't walk by sight. I never, I never stop believing and I stay positive. I speak positivity to self all day, every day. Even when those negative things sneak into my mind and tell me, oh, you shouldn't have made that decision. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. You see how this turns out? But you see... When I'm doubting myself and I'm being negative with myself, the one thing I always remember is what I tell y'all. Rejection is protection and self-reflection. So all the times when you get a no, that's not a bad thing. That's your ancestors and the universal creator protecting you from some negativity that you may not even be seeing. So don't walk by sight. 
You have to walk by seeking spiritual wisdom every day, awakening, birthing it, eye-opening it. Because seasons change. You know, everything has a season. You're going to glow up. You're going to shine. You're going to light up. You're going to shield and protect yourself and let that light shine and don't believe it. Know it. Don't believe it, y'all. Know it. Let that light from within you shine. Let people know that you know who you are and also let people know that you know who they are. Let's speak it out loud. But I want to tell y'all something. I want to say this, because this one's going to be a little short today. I just wanted to give y'all some upliftment. Stop selling yourself short and stop apologizing for standing up for yourself. Stop apologizing for focusing on yourself. Stop apologizing for giving yourself worth. Stop apologizing because you're being self-indulgent and you're working on self. You know, people will be jealous of you the whole time. Be in your face just to see what you're doing so they can hate. Or people will be jealous of you and be in competition with you all the time. And you don't even know you in a competition. You just think they're friends or family. But they've been in competition with you the whole time. And you're thinking to yourself, why are these people competing with me when I love them? When I would give them anything that I have to offer. But some people are in competition, and it's not even a game. They're in competition with you because they don't like themselves. You know, they're pretending to themselves. They're lying to themselves, and I don't do well with liars. You know, spying on you on social media and scared to speak it out loud. And once again, we all know that we got social media spies. Me personally, I leave y'all on my page so y'all can see what I'm doing. Because stop hating on me. If I can do it, you can do it. If I can be successful in whatever it is I want to do, you can be successful in whatever it is you want to do. Stop looking at other people and seeing what they're doing and find out something that you can do for you. It's something in there. We all came here with an innate job and something that's special to us. So it's something inside you. It's something in there. You know, be resilient and independent. That's who I am. Spiritual growth is your destiny. You know, spiritual growth is your destiny. I need you to know that. And I also need you to know you can't be close with people who want what you have. Protect your energy at all costs. Let me say it again for those in the back. You cannot be close with people who want what you have. You know, you got to protect your energy at all costs. And spirit will always show you the way. But truth be told, y'all, lots of times people don't even want what you have. They just don't want you to have it. You know those people. You've seen these people. Some of us are these people. Speak it. Once again, resilient and independence. That's who you are. And that's who you have the right to be. What I want to do, I do it. And you can too. Be assertive with yourself. Talk to yourself. Support yourself. And don't take any bullshit from yourself. Yeah, we we take bullshit off of ourselves. Because we've been so mentally conditioned to punish ourselves... That no one has to do it to us. We do it to ourselves. You know, people may not like that you are who you are. And that's okay. You need to like who you are. That's all. Take control over your life. You don't have to stay beneath people. People try to bury you. However, they don't know that you're not as weak. As they think you are. When they try to bury you. They don't realize that you're a seed. We grow up out of the dirt. We grow up out of the darkness. 
So when people throwing dirt on your name and throwing dark shade on your name, hey, seeds need darkness to grow because you throw them in the ground and throw that dirt on top of them. Hmm. Thank you for putting me in the dirt. That's how I get rooted. Remember that. When people throw dirt on your name, they're giving you fertilizer to grow, baby. Giving you fertilizer to grow. You know? And when they do that, you got two choices. You can either acknowledge them or, (laughs) what's the dude named Big Sean? I don't fuck with you. (laughs) You little stupid ass bitch, I ain't fucking with you. Yeah. You know, the angel guys of life and the angel of vibrations is watching over you. Trust it all to be well. All good things are ahead. Try to balance your mind. Focus on the good things that you want in your life and clear your mind. Detach from the world of a little bit. Step up and lead and take the driver's seat in your life. Leaders, frontliners, know how to lead from your head over your emotions. You hear what I'm saying? Leaders and frontliners, they know how to lead from head and thought processes versus over your emotions. I feel and I think and you made me. Hmm. I promise you help is on the way for the universe if you're ready to ascend the 5D. You got this. Get your mind straight and heal your mind. Your personal vibration will increase. You know, put your foot down with yourself. Protect yourself. Protect your energy. And don't allow people to take advantage of you. You hear me? Don't allow people to take advantage of you. Take advantage of your goodness. You know, not to blow up, scream and shout. It's a waste of your time and your energy when people do things like that and you try to calm them down. Get away from those people who are always causing drama. Get away from those people who are always trying to put you in something or tell you about how their life is not going this way and that way. It's okay to help people. It's okay to be a a, a person of encouragement to people. But when somebody comes to you every single day with the same story for years, once again, I touched on this, you know people who've been having the same damn problem for the past 50 years, complaining about the same damn thing, but won't change, won't change their mindset, won't change the things that they need to change within themselves, and that's not your issue, and that's not your problem, okay, all right, sometimes in life, you just have to do things by yourself and on your own, you know, you need to create something by yourself, allow yourself to be yourself, you know, allow yourself to to be yourself. All right? Okay, guys, I want to thank you once again for tuning in to this podcast. Let's speak it out loud. I told you I'm going to keep it a little short today, but I just wanted to talk to you all and let you know I love you, love you, love you. I hope I have uplifted you today. I hope that I have touched your spirit, and I hope that I have touched your soul today. I want to thank you once again for tuning in to Let's Speak It Out Loud. I love you, family. I love you all. Peace.